Welcome to a new vlog, the first one in a very long time. I kind of just like fell off of my vlogs and never really got back on. So it's one of my goals in the new year to start posting more vlogs and then also being more active on like Instagram and TikTok and all the places. So if you're not already following me on there, shameless self promo to go follow me. I'm elementary in the mitten basically everywhere. And then also another one of my goals has been to post more on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm elementary in the mitten over there as well. So I'd love to have you with me in all of the places and I'm really excited to be vlogging again today. Today. I already realized though I forgot my big microphone so I don't know how great the sound quality is gonna be but that's okay we're gonna roll with it so as I'm filming today's clip it is Tuesday it is January 3rd I believe and I go back to school tomorrow so I'm just stopping in my classroom really quick to film a little bit for like TikTok, Instagram YouTube all the things and then also just do like a little bit of organizing and whatnot I'm actually only gonna be here though a couple more minutes because I need to take off I have an oil change appointment and then I have another appointment after that and then I'm probably gonna come back for just just a little while so I'm doing a little bit of running around today and trying to get things done before the start of the new year 2023 with my students and tomorrow I'm planning a pretty chill day I have my day planned out for tomorrow so I don't have too much work that I need to do for this week it's nice because we only have those couple days we have Wednesday Thursday Friday so it will help us kind of ease into it we're gonna do a lot of reviewing of routines procedures all the things but I wanted to show you a couple of things in my room actually while I'm sitting right here I'll show you one of the things we're gonna do tomorrow I made these cute little bookmarks they're just like little doodle bookmarks my kids love bookmarks I try to have them for like every occasion and these are the ones that we're gonna decorate tomorrow and I like to just have the kids color these as like you know when they first come in in the morning usually on Monday mornings we start by watching a school video that my principal makes but we'll have it tomorrow instead of Monday because you know we did not have school Monday so they'll be able to color these at the start of the morning while they're watching that little video and I already colored one as a little example for the kids as well and just because I like using the bookmarks as well so I'm going to show you a couple of things in my room and then like I said I need to skedaddle and then I'll be back and I'm planning on filming the rest of the week as well like off on I don't know up down we'll make it work but I have one big thing that I want to show you guys for sure before I go and then I'm gonna rock and roll <laughs> okay so I want to talk to you a little bit about what I have behind me right here it just looks like a giant tv and that's essentially what it is basically my district is trying I believe like three four five I don't know they're trying a handful of different smart boards across the district and I'm on my district's tech team so I go to like the tech meetings they're usually like once a month ish and anyways originally I was asked if I would want to be on the pilot and I said yes but then because my building was over construction or under construction last summer then they said oh sorry we don't have a chance to like bring it to you because we don't know when we can drop stuff off blah 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 so basically I was told like sorry but like you can't be in the pilot and I was like yep no worries sounds good but then apparently somebody ended up with an extra one somehow I'm not sure how it happened but I just got asked like right before Thanksgiving break I think if I would want to have one of these BenQ smart boards in my room and I said why not bring it in so I was expecting it to be a lot smaller I will say I did not expect to have like a giant big screen TV in my room but I am really enjoying it so far I will say like I'm still looking for more things that I can do on it so if you use a BenQ or something similar I'd love to know like your favorite ways to use it in your room I have like definitely learned a lot already I've only had it like a few weeks but I've been learning a lot my kids really enjoy playing around with it I will say that I mostly use it as like a double screen right now so I still use my projector on the whiteboard and then I usually have something else going on over here the kids love interacting with it my favorite part so far has been that I can like record different lessons on there so if a kid were absent then I can stick stuff on Google Classroom I haven't taken full advantage of that yet though I've only done it a couple times in order to like play around with it but I am excited about the capabilities so I'd love to hear from you if you have a smart board or if you have a BenQ specifically how do you use it I'd love to know I just want to know all the things so yeah Yes, very exciting though and I definitely will show you how I use it if I like figure it out I don't know stay tuned maybe you will see it in future vlogs <laughs> and then I'm walking around like with the tripod but that's okay um, I also have been working on a little refresh series for my Instagram and TikTok. like I said I've been trying to be more active on there so I went through and I organized my desk and I actually organized it even more after I made the little video so now I have these little like desk organizers and I cannot remember where I got these from I feel like I got them from Dollar Tree but I might have gotten them from Michaels but I really want some more of them because I really like them so yes I have this all like nice and organized and I'm loving it so this has been great um, I haven't actually used it like since school started because I just did this over break but 
I got so many flare pens as gifts for Christmas and like from Secret Santa and stuff and I am living my best life with all the flare pens so life is so good and then I also have these cute little crocheted like plushies and I introduced these to my students before break and they're obsessed I got them from a craft show this one is a chicken nugget like are you kidding it's so sinking cute it doesn't want to focus so hold on let me touch the screen there we go so I have a chicken nugget I have a little bumbly bee. Like, come on, that's so stinking cute. And then my kid's favorite, of course, I have a little Pokeball, which, like, cracks me up because Pokemon was so big when I was in elementary school, and now it's, like, big again. Like, come on, amazing. So, anyways, yes, I have these. I've used the chicken nugget with my kids the most because it's my personal favorite. And I've been using these for, like, quiet ball and then also as, like, talking pieces. When we do our circles, I like us to have a talking piece so that way we can see whose turn it is to speak. So, yes, I have those just nicely in here. Some other fun stuff. And I feel good about it. So, I'm just going to sit down like this for a moment. <laughs> because I don't feel like moving the camera again but like I said I do need to get to my appointment and hopefully grab some food on the way my goal was to leave by 12 and it's currently 12.05 so I'm not that far off but I need to head out and then I will see you when I see you hopefully later today if I come back to school which I think I will otherwise I will see you tomorrow because like I said I'm vlogging this week I am determined so see you when I see you <laughs> Okay, so it's a couple hours later now. I had all my appointments and I am back basically just to like grab a couple things and shove a couple things in my back room and just kind of get ready for tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to pop on really quick to say hello and I didn't forget about my vlog and I am planning on vlogging again tomorrow. So I'm really excited to continue this vlog and just to be back and yeah, I've missed you guys. So anyways, I'm going to pack everything up and then I'm gonna head home and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, as promised, I am back here this morning continuing my vlog. I haven't dropped off of it yet. <laughs> so this morning it is Wednesday. It is January 4th. It's my best friend Melissa's birthday. So that's so fun. She's made for second grade here on YouTube, on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. So anyways, happy birthday to Melissa. A belated happy birthday by the time that she watches this, if she watches it. Um, but anyways, yes, I am here bright and early this morning. It's actually a little bit before 7 a.m. My husband had to go into work early this morning. And so it kind of worked out because I wanted to go in early as well and typically we leave like around the same time so that way we can like lock up all the doors together and just walk out together I don't know it's kind of cute so anyways not a whole lot to say to you this morning but I am gonna do just a little bit of running around my room making sure that I have everything prepped I'm gonna go through my slides one more time and maybe tweak a couple of things or a couple of things that like as I was getting ready this morning I'm like you know what I think I want to do this instead of this and just like a couple little things so I'm gonna tweak my slides but I will share with you my outfit a quick moment as well so let's go look in the mirror <laughs> Okay, so this has been one of my go-to outfits this year. Not necessarily with the boots. I just got the boots recently. But this top is one of my favorites. I got it from Jane, but I think one of my friends said that she saw it on Amazon as well. And it says, the future of the world is in my classroom today. And I just think it's really cute. It has like a little globe doing peace signs, which is adorable. And then these pants are from Old Navy. And then my shoes are just really comfy little chunky boots from... Amazon and I think they're I can't remember what brand actually but yeah they're just like really comfy ones I need to fix how my shirt is tucked in because it looks all wrinkled but that's okay so anyways outfit for today claw clip of course I feel like I wear my hair up in a claw clip like basically every single day and then I have on just like a little gold necklace I have all of my rings of course I am a big ring girly so I have a bunch of rings and then I have on these little gold hoops that I think were from TJ Maxx I want to say so yes that is the outfit for today and I'm just gonna run around and like turn everything on make sure everything's ready to go log into my computer all that fun stuff I'm gonna take a moment and log in to the BenQ it's really easy all I do in the mornings is press the on button it doesn't want to focus there we go so I press the on button and then I have this like little um like login card I don't know why nothing wants to autofocus okay so I have this like little login card and in just a moment when it pops up then I'll be able to just like swipe my little card and it will log me in which is really easy so love that so I just put it by 
the little thing right here and then it logs me in. My mom volunteers in my classroom once a week, usually when she's able to, and I had her hang up these little snowflakes and I'm just leaving them up because it's still winter, so they're not necessarily like holiday specific. So yes, I just have some like snowflakes around the room, which are really cute. Okay, so I just have my curriculum books out so I can glance through them before we start the day. So for math, we use math expressions, that's this right here. And then for reading, we use Reading Street. And yeah, that's what I have going on over here. And then I have our little bookmarks all set up and ready to go. Okay, also I was thinking about it on the way here and I might throw together a little anchor chart that says like 2023 more and less I've done that every year like for each year that I've taught um, I saw it on Instagram like forever ago I don't know who the original maker was of the idea, but I think I might just like whip something up Also one thing about me that I've learned is if it's a poster that I'm not gonna leave up or like an anchor chart That I'm not gonna leave up all the time Then I do not waste my time anymore on making it super beautiful and pretty because it just doesn't need it So anyways, I think I I might make that I'll show you maybe once I'm done okay this is what I came up with I clearly did not trace anything because the balloons are pretty messy but like I said I just don't feel like I need to be bothered with making really cute posters that are not gonna stay up or cute anchor charts like it's just you know one thing that I don't need to do and I used to waste so much time on so we're gonna talk about what we want to see more of this year in our classroom and what we want less of and yeah, it will just be a good way to get our day started. And then on the BenQ, I did write a little message saying that I'm so happy that my kids are here and that we're gonna have a great day. So hooray. Okay, so now it's Thursday morning. I tried to braid my own hair this morning and I feel like it looks absolutely horrible. So one of my teacher friends is really good at braiding hair. I think I'm gonna try to convince her to redo it when she gets here in a little bit. But for now, we're just working with what we've got. Yesterday was such a good day. Like literally the best day I've ever had back from break. The kids did such a good job. We did so much reviewing of routines and procedures. And I did this thing that I've done in some past years where I tell the kids what I think they're doing really well and then a couple of things that I want them to work on and then I also have them do the same for me so they share a couple of things that they think I'm doing well as their teacher and then they share a couple of areas where they feel like I could improve as a teacher and I try giving them lots of examples blah blah, blah. these children were so kind they like would not come up with anything for me to work on they're like Mrs. Halls you're the best teacher I don't know what to tell you which obviously is not true but it was very sweet of them to say so anyways I gave them some things that I want to improve on so one of the things is like being more purposeful with my small group time and also what was the the other one um I forget there was something else that we talked about and then I just saved it on my little whiteboard that I have over there so then we can refer back to it we also did our one word project yesterday and that went so well the kids had so much fun with that and we colored our little bookmarks for new year and just kind of got back into the routine of things I actually did a lot of curriculum yesterday because honestly like it just kind of feels more normal to just kind of get back into it and it went really really well the kids did such a good job in my pacing guide I don't actually need to start this next math unit until next week but I decided to start it yesterday Yesterday because it's mostly review anyways we're working with coins and the kids did such a good job and I had them like work with some fake money and sort coins and it was just a really really good day so anyways yay for that today hopefully will be a really good day as well it's gonna be really similar to yesterday so some more reviewing and one thing I do I can't remember if I talked about this or not but I do rovers routine review so basically what that means is I have this cute little magnet on the board let me grab it really quick and I'll show you so I have this cute little magnet, this is Rover, but also I just put a random golden retriever puppy in like a bunch of slides and I call him Rover. So Rover is like 10 million different dogs basically. <laughs> and anytime that I want to review a routine, we talk about Rover's routine review. So Rover pops up in the slide or I just grab him off the whiteboard and we review a routine that we do daily or you know, whatever it might be. So we review with Rover and then the kids just love it. And it's just like one of those silly little things where I like have a dog picture on the board and and they think it's extra fun so yes rover's routine review this is rover they think it's so funny and then when rover is not on the whiteboard he is just on my little mini fridge so there's rover fun little teacher tip so anyways i think i am just going to get ready for the day i might film a couple clips for tiktok and then i will see you when i see you i do have a meeting after school today actually i have a meeting about something i'm excited about so i will tell you a little bit about it i am starting up a reciprocal spanish and english class for parents starting next week with one of my good friends who teaches at our immersion program and she teaches first grade so we're going to be doing a program for students at, or not students parents at my school 
who are Spanish speaking and then parents at the immersion school who are English speaking but want to learn Spanish and they're going to partner together and we're gonna do an hour or I think it's like 45 minutes in each language so we're gonna do 45 minutes in English 45 minutes in Spanish it'll be the same lesson and we're going to partner parents up and then we're gonna have like a point system where they can earn points if they like hang out outside of the class or if they um, hang out like as a group or whatever so there will be a point system for that and I'm really excited about it but my friend Karina and I we are going to meet after school today just to discuss it a little bit more and flesh out some of those final details because it is starting out before we know it so yes that is a little bit stressful but like exciting stressful because it's like very very busy but also like a passion project that I've been working on for quite a while and I'm really excited about it I've taken some different reciprocal classes and I've been really really happy with the progress that I've made in those and the different communities that I've made and um, the different friendships and all of that fun stuff so anyways all of that to say super exciting stuff is coming but yes I do have a meeting after school today for that with just Karina so it'll be pretty chill but anyways I'm gonna go put Rover back on the board and then I will see you when I see you <laughs> Okay, so now it is Sunday afternoon and I actually have not been coming in on the weekends anymore for like quite a while and that's something I kind of have been like making a goal of mine this year because I just feel like a better, more relaxed and energized human on Monday mornings if I'm not spending my whole day here on Sundays. But at the same time, it's really hard for me to finish a vlog. So basically if I want to vlog, I have to come in on the weekends, either that or maybe start finishing my vlogs at home. I don't know, would you guys be open to me maybe vlogging at home so I don't have to come in on the weekends? I'm not sure about that. Also, I feel like the camera might be a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can fix that. But anyways, oh, I think I made it worse. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but I am here in my classroom. I also did have to come in because I'm starting up my reciprocal class on Tuesday. I can't remember if I talked about it already or not. And I am so excited. I've been working really, really hard on this. It's been my passion project. I am getting paid for planning each week, which is awesome. And then also I'm going to be getting paid for the actual class itself. And we received a lot of like grant funding and stuff as well. So we could get some books and get materials and get snacks for the families and all of that fun stuff. So we were able to get a lot of money secured for this class to become a reality. And I'm really, really excited about that. It's been, like I said, a passion project and even just like finding that funding and making that all happen but I feel so supported by my district and I really feel like I work in the best district around I know every district is going to have their own things their own issues for sure nowhere is perfect but I do feel very supported where I'm at and I feel like this class becoming a reality is just a testament to that because I went to somebody in our administration building and said hey I really really want to do this I think it could be great and she helped me make it happen so I'm super excited and I have some books all around me so I thought I would share some of these with you so some of them are from Amazon. I love these Lil Libro books. They're just great board books. So if you haven't seen these before, I highly recommend them. They are bilingual books and they're awesome. I have like a little rolly cart at home, like one of those three like shelf carts that are from, I think Michael's and I don't really use it at home. So I think I'm going to bring that in maybe today or tomorrow to use for our library. And I might like put a little checkout or something on the side. It's not gonna be super formal. There's not gonna be a ton of parents. I think we have like 20 parents signed up, which is awesome. Like that's the perfect number I feel like for our first class, but it's also not too many. Also, I'm purposefully opening this upside down so it doesn't have my address on it. <laughs> so I'm making that work. So let's see. These are from First Book and I haven't opened them yet, as you can see, but I did order them. So I ordered them quite a while ago, so I don't exactly even remember what's inside. But lots of bilingual books. We tried to get a good mix of like board books and then also some chapter books and all sorts of different things and we're going to encourage parents to check out books each week and then return them the next and read these books with their children because these children are all bilingual which is amazing so they're either in the Spanish immersion program and they're learning Spanish but their original language or their first language is English or they're students who their first language was Spanish and now they are bilingual English speakers as well, which is awesome. So these kids are amazing. I love seeing how their brains work and they are just going to be invaluable resources for their families as well as their families are starting to learn a new language too, which is so exciting. So all sorts of fun books. Oh my gosh, this one's so teeny tiny. <laughs> it's so cute. So I'm so excited about this class starting and I'm excited to tell you more about it and take you with me on this journey a little bit. I am not going to make any promises about how often I will be vlogging because I'm going to be honest with you, it is a lot, lot, lot more work than just like posting on Instagram or posting on TikTok. This one's super cute. 
And yeah, it's just a huge commitment. It's a huge commitment to try to come in early enough every day that I'm able to talk to my camera for a while before I need to start interacting with like coworkers and stuff like that or students. And I just really have been enjoying this year being a human like outside of teaching and I feel like that's been huge for me and that's been making me feel so much less burnt out and has made it so I can teach and be a better teacher honestly because I'm spending my time at home doing things that are important to me. I'm doing a lot more reading, a lot more learning Spanish, a lot more like spending time with my husband and <laughs> that kind of stuff that's really really important that honestly like has kind of gone to the back burner the last couple of years or really not last year wasn't too bad but the year before and years before that like my first couple years of teaching it was hard so I'm trying to make sure that I am a human and have my own identity outside of being a teacher and that's something that's been really really important to me so with that vlogging has been kind of challenging and honestly it wasn't anything that I like consciously decided to stop doing it just kind of happened and I wasn't feeling super inspired to really get back to it because I just know how much work it is and yeah it's like the, the actual filming like having to come in early or having to come in on the weekends but then also it's like the editing process is very 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 time consuming whereas like I just have recently gotten more into TikTok and Facebook or not Facebook Instagram reels and those are just so much easier to edit because I can edit them right from my phone I use the app called CapCut which is so easy if you haven't used CapCut I highly recommend it I used to edit all of my videos like all of my Instagram reels and TikToks and stuff on my computer and then it was like just as time consuming as like editing a short video as like you know this would be um but since I downloaded CapCut, it's made my life a lot easier. So yes, that has definitely been where I'm enjoying that space more. Like I really enjoy Instagram. I really enjoy TikTok. Now I'm not consuming as much content on YouTube, like teaching YouTube as I used to. And so I don't know, there's just been a little bit of a shift there, but I do miss you over here. I miss everybody who watches my videos and some people have come over to my Instagram and sent me really nice messages saying like, hey, really miss you, hope you're doing well and stuff like that. So thank you for those kind messages. I am doing well. This has honestly been one of my favorite years of teaching that I've ever had. I have such a phenomenal class this year. Like I am obsessed with these kids. They are just so sweet and so caring and we just like mesh really well together and I feel like a happy healthy teacher this year and honestly I cannot say that every year and this year though I feel it and I'm I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling good about the balance that I have in place and yeah life is just good. So anyways talking your ear off, I know, but all that to say, I don't know how often I'm going to post videos, but I would like to start posting them again in general. That is my goal. So I will try my best and hopefully I will see you soon with another video and I'll be able to update you on how all of this goes with my reciprocal class. I seriously cannot wait. It's going to be such a blast. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. So I will touch base with you at some point in the future. And like I said, I don't know when that will be, but hopefully sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for staying with me and coming back to this video and just, you know, reuniting with me. I appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.